They're kids 12 to 16 years old. Do you really expect them to be able to make perfect decisions when half of them are freaking out? Uh, two of them did. Maybe not perfect, but two of them did. They're like, hey, we can't just sit around and wait. We have to get looking. Also, they've had, they've been here for like two days. They've had time to calm down and be like, all right, let's catch our breath. Okay, now we need to think about what doing. And they've thought about what doing, and two of them have come up with really bad ideas that the others have been like, that's not a good idea. We need to explore. So, yes. Yes, I do expect them to be able to, after coming to their decision, to be like, to realize why the decision they've come to is a mistake. Also, like, yeah, they're 12 to 16 years old, but they're anime 12 to 16 years old. In anime, like, it's never adults or anything doing anything. It's children most of the time, and they do more adult-like answers and stuff. Because, like, they're like, yeah, we can't have the story be about, like, a 24-year-old. Instead, we're going to have it be about this, like, 16-year-old who's going to act differently than a 16-year-old probably would. So, yes, I do. I, I legitimately do in an anime-like setting like this. Hello, I am Tyrannomon. I'm going to talk to the Maramon. Oh, waiting around makes me want to go crazy. Why'd you guard turn one? Then? I know what you mean, brother. All right, that's one. I'll take it. Haha, <laughs> good, good. Ain't you a frail looking thing? You eating enough meat? Dude, I eat so much meat. I eat everything. Oh, just one. Okay, one good answer. One good answer. I want to do nothing but fun things. You too, right? It's either even more than you or you know your stuff. I think it's you know your stuff. Hacker voice, I'm in there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know just what you mean. So, what do you want? Guess I'll hear you out. 55%? I guess I am. I did see chat mentioning, like, the moral system and all that. And because my Agumon digivolved into Tyrannomon, whatever moral I'm set to must be, like, the data moral. And you're a data Digimon. So, I guess that's what decides the rate of success. So yours is really high because you're a data, which means I'm going to have a harder time recruiting viruses and vaccines. I don't... Man, like... That kind of sucks because, like, I want to have a bunch of different Digimon that I can use and having the decisions I make kind of, like, pigeonhole me. Not pigeonhole me because you can still get the others, but just making it more annoying to recruit viruses and vaccines I, it sounds like... I don't know, that sounds to me like it's going to get really annoying, but maybe as I go through the game, I'll be like, oh, it's not actually that big a deal. But I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I missed the 55%. Dang it. Does karma actually affect recruitment rates? I think that's what chat was saying earlier. And I mean, like, I'm definitely, my karma is definitely whatever data is because I have Tyrannomon. That was a data Digimon, a champion level that I had a 55% chance on. And the Betamon, a virus Digimon that I tried to recruit a bit ago, only had like a 26% chance. Or was that Gazimon? I don't know. My point stands. I don't see how that couldn't be what it is. I'm still, I'm still not really vibing with the recruitment, like, percentage chance on getting Digimon in this game. I... I don't know. I One of my favorite things about Digimon games, and this is one of the reasons that I've talked about before, I really like Digimon World Next Order. It's a good game. Uh, it's got its flaws, but it's a good game. But I prefer the Cyber Sleuths because I like being able to get a bunch of different Digimon and use a bunch of different Digimon. And uh, making the process of getting Digimon more RNG-based and more annoying, I, I just... Sounds like it's going to get really annoying to me pretty quickly. But again... I'm not, like, hating it right now, so we'll see how it goes. I'm a Tyrannomon. Alright, well, I actually didn't need Deltamon to, uh... to deal with whatchamacallit. This triple force is gonna... Oh, it's a straight forward. By four, though. Okay. That must be part of the reason you have so low movement. Unfortunately, I didn't know that, and I put Floramon at the perfect spot to block you from being able to hit. Rip. Whatever that means. I might have just cursed in Japanese, and I'd never even know. 
Recruitment rate should not be determined by Karma IMO. It's annoying to have an easier time recruiting champions that match my type than rookies that don't match my type. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like... Especially because then it's matching what Agumon is, and theoretically, Agumon is the Digimon you're going to use the most in the game, probably. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I'm not a fan. I think it should be more like... If you... Honestly, I think it shouldn't have to do with percentages at all. It should just be, like... It should be like, so the way the meter thing is set up right now, right? There are six bars for the talk meter. You have to get it to three to have a chance at recruiting or getting an item. Some, re if you get perfect responses, you get plus two. It's possible to get all six bars filled. I think if you get all six bars filled, that should just recruit the Digimon. Like the end, you just got it. Or like at least give you like a really high chance of recruiting the Digimon. I don't know, something. Um, I think that's how I would want it to be. I think an even better, I think that if they still wanted to keep the percentage thing, I think just the larger the bar is, the higher your chance. And you can get it up to like, if you get it perfectly, you can get up to like, I don't know, like 70% or something like that. So that's, that's what I would prefer. Having it tied to, I know you want, I know the developers want the moral system to like be important, but I think the moral system is fine enough just determining how Agumon reacts. And then it probably does other stuff in the game as well, I don't know. But I would be fine if it only affected Agumon. And I still think it would be, like, worthwhile on the whole moral scale. Because you would make decisions based off of, like, Agumon would react to your decisions, and I think that would be really good. I assume the other characters do that a little bit at some point, too, because some of them have a straight line, but I think, like, uh, I think Labramon has two possible Megas, if I'm not mistaken. Um... But, like, having it just be, like, based on the moral thing, and then especially with it being such low percentages, like... If I've got my data Tyrannomon, and I'm like, man, I really want a virus, like, I really want to get Betamon, because I want to see Tuskmon and Deltamon, and it's like, oh, well, you, you wanted your Agumon to go down the Tyrannomon line, so now you, like, only have, like, a 25% chance of recruiting them, so, like, you can still get them, it's just gonna be really, really annoying, and I'm like, well, I'd really prefer it if recruiting Digimon to be able to use more of them and have more fun wasn't really, really annoying. I'd rather that, like, I'm not saying it has to be, like, snap my fingers, you give me the Digimon I want, but I'd prefer if it wasn't, like, a major hassle, or that it wasn't, like, completely, uh, the main thing is I don't like it being RNG-based. If it was difficult to recruit a Digimon, like, you had to meet a bunch of requirements, like, getting the talk meter to full, maybe, like, weakening the Digimon first, like, lowering its HP, like, you know, Pokemon style, I I'd much prefer something like that instead of it just being like, hey, dude, flip a coin. You know what I mean? Do do Dokugamon. Dokugamon could also be pretty cool to uh, try and recruit. I like that champion Digimon are showing up in free battle now. Uh, let's do some more chatting with people before I do more free battles. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Minoru and Aoi, maybe I should talk to them. Yeah, these two characters are the ones I'm most interested in at the moment. So I definitely want to, if I'm going to use my time, I'd rather use it on them. Digimon Survive came out? Yo, I had no idea. Playthrough coming soon. So, Agumon, what do you think about Falcomon and Labramon going missing? Do you have any idea where they might have gone or why they left? Wait. Wait, what? Falcomon and Labramon are missing? I don't know, but I don't think we should be worried. Really? But they're always with Minoru and Aoi. Doesn't it bother you that they're gone? Not really. Kind of feel like they're just over there. Not that I know anything. Ask a question, you don't know the answer, same as always. Yeah, you're talking like they're missing or something. Did they go missing and I didn't notice? Still, when you don't know, you don't know. Not much else to say, right? That's true. What a waste of one of my movement points that was. Moral system affecting Digivolutions is an interesting take. I wouldn't mind seeing it in a different game. Honestly, the moral system affecting how Agumon Digivolves might, like... Might, like, be my... One of the coolest things about this game. Like, that I really like. The concept is really awesome. And it's really fitting with, like, the Digimon anime. Like, you know, you always have those moments in the anime. Not always, but a lot of times. Like, all the way back to Ty trying to get Agumon to Digivolve. And it goes to Skull Greymon. Season 5 has the bit with, uh... Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. Um, season 3 has the whole Megidramon debacle. 
etc. Like, all of that stuff, that's really... Using that in an actual Digimon game is really awesome. I actually really like that. That's really cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Do you see them here? What? I don't see Falcomon and Labramon, no, but... The way that Takuma was talking was like, what happened to them? Do you know? And then I'm of the same camp as Agumon. I'm like, I don't know. They're probably just like standing in another room. Do they have to be glued to their partner's sides at all time? Like they can't take more than four steps away? Like, I don't know. It just seemed like, it seemed weird to me. Huh? Falcomon, where? Minoru, what's wrong? We were together just a second ago, but now Falcomon's gone. Where'd he go? To the bathroom? Agumon might run off without saying anything, but Falcomon would let you know, right? He sure would. Still, this is Falcomon we're talking about. I'm not worried. Okay, now it makes more sense if you talk to Aoi and Minoru first. It just seemed really weird talking to Agumon first and him being like, Oh no, they've gone missing. With Aoi and Minoru, their partners, being like, Oh hey, I don't know what happened. Like, where'd they run off to? That makes a little more sense. Talking to Agumon first, it just seemed like completely out of nowhere. Hey, Takuma, have you seen Labramon? Nah, what's wrong? She's always with you. Right? That's why I was getting worried. She was right here just a minute ago. Then she couldn't have gone far. Right, I bet you'll find her in no time. Anyway, I'm sure you don't have to worry. Labramon's a lot tougher than you or me. I guess that's true. Thank you, Takuma and Agumon. Yeah, it doesn't seem as weird if you talk to Aoi and Minoru first, but talking to Agumon at first, I was like, what? Do I see them on my marker anywhere? Oh, no, they're just straight up gone. I wonder what the heck they're doing. Uh, I should probably use at least one point to talk to friggin' Rio. Should have given you the first option to talk to the kids, then Agumon. Yeah, that would have made a little more sense. But it's minor. Who cares? Oh, it's Rio. He looks a bit worried. When doesn't he? Was I seeing things? No, that can't be it. Then we're actually... Rio, what's up? Shut up. Get lost, would you? Hey, that was an actual response. <laughs> Are you feeling better now? What do you mean better? You act like, like there's something wrong with me. Well, look, in a way, I feel like there's something wrong with me, too. I think you could say that about all of us. Hey, you got nothing to say, get lost. I thought he'd lost it earlier, but now he's talking with me just fine. What kind of state is he in right now? Uh, honestly, judging by this look of him, I'd say Idaho. Probably Idaho. What's our next move? Why do you force yourself to talk to Rio? So that the people in chat who are like, I actually like Rio, I can say that I gave him a chance, and then when I probably, most likely, still don't like him, I can be like, yeah, I mean, I gave him a couple of... I did a couple of interactions with him, I didn't just ignore him, I just didn't like his character. Definitely Iowa? You're out of your mind, Wolfen. Out of your mind. Maybe if it was like, I don't know, maybe... Maybe if he was like a couple of years older, I could see it being Iowa, but... This is definitely an Idaho situation. Okay, what do you think we should do next? I'm telling you, who cares? Whatever we do, we're just gonna die. Dude, I just... I, I have no patience for characters like this. It doesn't matter if anime, video game, etc, etc. I, I have no patience for characters like this. Well, I can only speak for myself, but I'm not planning on dying here. Sure, we'll all die someday, but that's way in the future when we're old men and women. <laughs> Big words. Big words. That's not what I'm talking about. Ah, you idiot. What's going on? What do you think's actually going on right now? Shut up. Whatever's happening, it doesn't matter. Well, he may be talking, but I see he's as prickly as ever. How do you feel? Shut up, it doesn't matter what you say. Ah, I can certainly understand how Rio feels right now. I he must be worried sick and we're all just kids. There's nobody for him to rely on. At some point, like, I get it. They're young, they're in a dangerous situation, stuff is crazy. But at some point, you have to, like, suck it up. Otherwise, you're just, you're gonna just be the one who dies anyway because you're being a child about it the whole time. Like, come on. They're also not, like, children children. They're teenagers, right? I think Saki is 13. But the others are all, like, 14 to 16 years old, right? Like, they're not, like, little kids. Mew is a little kid, I think. I don't know how old she is. She's, like, eight or something. But, uh, Haru and, um, Miyuki are probably, like, a thousand years old. They've been dead for who knows how long. But, like, they're not, like, little children. 
They're not like seven-year-olds thrown in this situation. Look, you're just a stupid brat, so you probably don't get it, but our situation, our situation is, dang it, we're so screwed. Yeah, that's it. This has to be the afterlife. He's not looking at me anymore. Guess he's back in his own world. Ugh. I, but apparently our affinity is up. Well, at least I got to talk with him. He'll be okay, right? Is Rio really all right? I'm worried. I know how you feel, but I'm not sure what to do either. That's it. It must be. I wasn't seeing things. They had to be ghosts. Yes, so that must mean we're ghosts too. Eh. What should we do with Rio? I can't just leave him like this. I'm gonna leave him like this. He must have moved somewhere because... Oh, everything got moved around again. Okay. So wait, is the people moving around? Is it based off of who I happen to talk to? Or are they moving around because I used so many movement? Like, was it like I used four movements so everyone shuffles around? Is that how this is going? That's what That would be my assumption. Is that how it is, chat? Is it after a certain amount of moves? You can see all their ages if you're interested in the profile menu. Yeah, I probably should at some point. Probably. Yo, Calculated, what's up, man? It's been a hot minute. How you doing, brother? Good to see ya. What is, is that a bit badge next to your name? What is that badge? Oh yeah, it's having cheered 10k. You're the one person when I was looking at the new emotes. I have a bit emote now. I think it's for 5,000, or is it? No, it's 1,000 bits? I think it's for 1,000 bits for there's one bit emote because I had enough emotes for the space for it. And it said like I had more bit emotes, but it was only like one person would have access to them if I used them. It was like there's one person who's cheered 10k. So you can do a 10k bit emote if you want. And I'm like, I don't know who that one person is. And like, I'm not going to make an emote for one singular person in chat right now. I'll make the 10 or the 1000 bit emote because that's like if people want that emote, it's just like 10 bucks. That's that's uh, that's easy to do. But I was like, who on earth is cheered so many bits? I should have known it was you. I should have figured it was either you or, um... Aw, oh, crud, it's been so long since they've been in chat, I can't remember the name. Who's the other person who always gives subs? Aw, oh, crud. I'd recognize their name the second it was in chat. Like, the second they showed up in chat, I'd be like, yep, that's them. But I can't just remember it off the top of my head. I don't want to look at chat, I want to remember it. I should remember that chatter. They've gifted so much. It's, um... It's beer pong. It's Posties beer pong, isn't it? Post yeah, Posties. All right, chat was telling me. Yeah, I, re I remembered beer pong first because I think their full name is Posties beer pong, if I'm not mistaken. But obviously, we all just call them Posties. Yeah, calculated and Posties. Other people have given a lot of gift subs too, but Posties and calculated have given a ridiculous amount. Yeah. So I was like, it had to have been calculated or Posties, but I just have no idea. Oh man. Oh, it also changed the enemy here. Let's try and recruit Marimon again. Because we failed that other one, right? Even though we had a high percent. If I see a data champion or ultimate, I should absolutely try and recruit them. Because right now, my morality is set to... To data. You don't need more experience right now. I do want to keep leveling up this Gazimon for when we did evolve it. You guys need more experience and your data so you can beat up these Biomon. Put in Deltamon again to get a little experience and also just so we have that. Well, actually, you know, in, in case we have to kill the Marimon. I was gonna say just put in Kunamon, but Kunamon hasn't Digivolved yet, so we'll put in Kunamon and you. Uh, I do want to Digivolve Biomon, but Biomon didn't have that many, like, interesting Digivolutions that caught my eye that I'm like, I definitely want this one. And we've got Lobbermon and Falcomon, so we're, like, really set on Vaxxons at the moment. So, let's leave Biomon out for now, and throw in, let's, let's get to Labramon some more experience. 